afternoon folks my name is sandy this is sawing with sandy welcome back to the channel in just a minute i'm going to take these nine foot red pine logs i'm going to make some wood chips fly off of them because i'm debarking them now that's not typically something you would hear from someone who's using a draw knife or some sort of a hand tool to remove the bark and well in my case i'm certainly not using one of those hand tools i'm using one of these hand tools this right here is something new to me this is a log peeling disc and as you can see we've got three blades that stick out beyond the bottom those log peeling discs as you'll see in just a minute absolutely remove the bark in a hurry and that's a good thing for me because i probably have 50 or 60 maybe 70 logs that i need to debark and although a draw knife or some other hand tool would work okay i am certainly not an expert at using them and it takes an awful lot of effort and time for me to debark that many logs without a tool like this this tool here i picked up from some folks out in calgary alberta canada alberta forest and garden uh, i'll put their uh, contact information in the video description they have this in stock and i was able to uh, pick this up they gave me some great advice on how to use it i was a bit skeptical when i first got it i didn't know how it was going to work compared with something like a draw knife and i gotta tell you it's like night and day in terms of effort in terms of time and as you'll see in a minute if you're gonna be an onlooker for someone using one of these discs make sure you stand back the wood chips absolutely fly off of it and it'll uh, definitely fill your shirt pocket if you're nearby so we're gonna fire this thing up in just a minute this uh, log peeling disc is hooked up to a nine inch angle grinder this will also work the uh, log peeling disc that is it'll also work on other angle grinders like a seven inch angle grinder so we're gonna fire that up and i'm pretty excited because it's a lot of fun it uh, is very manageable you put all your personal protective equipment on and then you can safely work so that's a great thing for me to have now underneath those logs you can see my log loader trailer this is made by wallenstein the wallenstein lxt95 I like to do a little, uh, little bit of work using um, this trailer for jobs like this because that allows me to move the logs around easily and if I finish debarking a series of logs I can move them off the trailer to get access to the ones underneath without issue. So that's why I've got them on here today and uh, it makes getting around in the woods very very easy as well. Now just before we get going here, I talk to many of you folks in the comments, I talk to you through emails and uh, I meet a, very, a lot of very nice people. I met one gentleman from uh, Paris, Texas, and this is uh, his company here, all right? So HW, if you're watching this video, thank you very much for what I'm about to show everyone. HW and his son operate this company, and uh, when I was talking to him a little while ago, he said he wanted to send me something. Check that out. Some nice laser engraving here, my name on the back and then on the front, the logo. So HW, Dalton, thank you very much for sending this off to me. That uh, travel mug there, certainly the color I would choose. And if you have a look here, that's gonna hold an awful lot of sludge. For everyone else out there I get to talk to on a regular basis, guys, I really appreciate your support, not only for things like this, but also just for your general support. Without you guys, I couldn't do any of this, and that's the honest truth. So thank you again, I appreciate it. Let's get down to work.
There we go, we took care of the better part of 12 logs there and some of them were 13 feet long and some were about uh, eight or nine feet long. Didn't take a whole lot of time. That's one of the nice things about the log peeling disc. It's not a lot of effort either. It's not like a, a huge weight that's sort of cumbersome. You can really manage it easily, especially if you have a, uh, a nice uh, grinder like that. That grinder is very well balanced as is the log peeling disc. So when it's spinning, it's not like it's wanting to vibrate. It rotates perfectly, so there's no movement whatsoever unless you're uh, guiding it. It doesn't dart on you, anything like that, which is nice as well. That was one of my concerns when I initially was looking at getting it. I was concerned that if it started to dart because of uh, the potential for, for harm, it could be quite dangerous, but that's not the case. Very, very manageable, and that's, that's quite nice. Now, one thing you'll notice, I uh, tucked in my shirt here. I wanted to make sure there was no loose, uh, loose clothing. Uh, spinning objects like that, whether it's a... Uh, cutting disc like that or a grinding disc or who knows what it is type of disc it can uh, be dangerous if you get the clothing involved so might end up getting some sort of a, a leather coat or, or a leather apron you know those ones the blacksmiths wear maybe something like that I'm not sure I think uh, one of you guys out there suggested that at one point we'll look into that for a future uh, future future time looking at the log here you can see it's a uh, it's a nice nice uh, texture to it it's not like gouged by any means in fact, if you wanted to take like a, a finished uh, plain piece of lumber and make it look old, you could probably use something like this to give it that, that vintage character. Looks quite nice. I think it's gonna look nice on the project as well. So anyways, that, uh, that's a great addition. I'm very happy to have it. It's ready to go some more. It's not even dull yet. So I'm gonna keep, uh, keep going with it until it is dull, then we'll get her sharpened up. Now, as for the log loader trailer, you would have seen me lift up these logs that are now on the trailer. They were over there just a minute ago. Uh, I left them there probably a week or two ago, and then it thawed and froze, and well, it froze to the ground. The uh, trailer picked it up, loaded it up for me quite nice that way. I'm going to use the uh, log loader trailer as well to put the 9-footers or 8-footers back up here when I'm ready, ready to haul out of here. Now, one thing I was about to do, if this grapple wasn't able to reach that pile, I was going to use the winch. If you want to see the installation of this winch, it's relatively new to me. This is a hydraulic winch that I can operate with the uh, same hydraulics as the trailer here. I was going to just use that and give it a tug and pull it just a little bit closer or break the ice loose, but I didn't have to. Grapple picked it up without trouble, so good all around. I think the next step here is probably just to finish up. I think I have about a half a log left to do on one side there, and uh, then the backpack blower is coming out. We'll uh, give this a good once over, clean her up load up the uh, nine footers and call it good for today. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, make sure it goes down below in the comments. I genuinely appreciate everyone watching. If you can do me that big favor though, give her the old like a -roo. subscribe and I'll see you next time.